Um, good morning, good morning. Just getting ready here for, uh, at my night job, getting ready to go to my day job. So coming off a 12 hour shift, I'm about to go do eight hours at work. Um, usually I get a little nap or something like that. So that's already happened. Um, you know, got my little bag here and then, you know, uh, what's it called? Iron board. So just iron to get all, get all my stuff. Really all I have to do iron my pants. Um, but this goes into mindset and the previous video we were just talking about, Hey, just <clears throat> focus on what you got to do and then just work your plan and chill. Just work your plan, chill. So just got finished getting ready. About to go from one job to the next. Ready to get off my shift here in about 10 minutes or so. But the guy usually comes like late, so I'll be out of here by 7.15. Um, wanted to talk about uh, taking days off from certain things. So, for instance, with everything that's going on, um, sadly with the uh, the death of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, which which when that when I heard that his daughter died, that right there hit me harder than like say him dying because like Kobe was a player, but he wasn't my childhood player. He was the player that uh, uh, Michael Jordan would be that player where I'd be like, yo, like you know Michael Jackson was one of those deaths. Kobe was like, oh man, that's really sad. Um, I did see him do a lot of cool things. I really did. What I thought was really nice is that uh, watching him coach his daughter. That was like. That was cool. That was really cool, man. Like seeing that man coach his daughter, that was really special. Um, sorry, let me get ready here. So seeing him coach his daughter, that was really special. And I thought that was like really a nice thing right there, a nice thing to witness. But seeing the, the what happens after these events um, is really disheartening. And it's something that I've seen quite a bit. And when I saw this whole Kobe thing happen, like I got text messages, I woke up and my nephew had texted me and I had a couple things in us, some WhatsApp groups that I was in that they were saying, hey, listen, you know, this happened, so on and so forth. But when you see things like that, you really just have to take a day off from, say, the internet and TV, because that's all that's going to be on there. That's the only coverage. And like you see it and it's just kind of like, it's mind blowing some of the things that happen. You know, some people are making money off of people's death. If you went on probably eBay, all the prices of any autographed jersey or jerseys, period, have either been sold out or have been doubled in price. You know, so it's kind of like, you know, you you see people making money off of people's death, um, which is, again, like, it's sad, but it's human nature. It's how things happen. Even Mac Miller, you see in the release of his album um, or his uh, his unknown or, un, un, like, unreleased tracks or what have you. So, um, it's kind of really just sad to see how all of this, you know, how all of this transpires. Mini iron, this is pretty cool. So, I use this to, use this to travel with in the bag. So, I don't have like a full size iron or anything like that. And it comes in like this little linen kind of bag or whatever. So, that it doesn't really burn. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, you really have to take time off from the internet. So one thing that I've been doing for years because of uh, something that has happened to me in the past, um, I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate major ho other major holidays, especially things like uh, New Year's Day, July 4th, things where people go out, get drunk, and do all types of crazy stuff. The Super Bowl's hitting in South Florida here in a couple weeks, and I'm not going to be out doing anything crazy with that. I'm going to just go to work, and that's it. You know, my salon is on the way to the stadium, and I'm not trying to do anything down there um, during certain times. I'll be checking traffic just to make sure that, you know, I'm not a part of that traffic. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with people being crazy, being drunk, pre-gaming, post-gaming, all that stuff. I'm not trying to deal with it. Really, just take a day off. Stay away from certain things. So... I see something that O'Shea Duke, Duke Jackson posted here on YouTube um, where a woman was talking about, hey, you know, we really shouldn't be mourning for men that haven't given us anything. Ladies, don't worry about that, you know, so on and so forth. And I'm thinking to myself, and I was like, I, I, it, it, the social decay at this point is just straight comedy. When you look at the social decay that's happening in our society, how people are reacting to other people's deaths, and how these things are no longer, in a sense, important. It doesn't really matter. We don't care about the feelings of other people. 
um, you know, now you're going to start seeing a whole bunch of people come up with uh, one guy. He already said, hey, listen, you know, back in November, he made a prediction that in the first half of the first half of the year or first month or whatever in uh, first month of the year we're gonna lose a great nba star and he made this prediction back in november and it's just like you're seeing all this stuff and it's just like wow i need to log off you know like you, you see this stuff and i'm like well this is really in a sense messed up because this this guy died his daughter died and these are the things that we're looking at um not just like, you know, just not just black society, black YouTube, black Internet, what have you, or the black portions of these social platforms. Um, but just people in general are looking at these things and just saying, hey, listen, this is what happened. You know, numerology, you know, hey, you know, Kemet and all this other stuff. And it's like, you know, I, I, this was predicted. And then, of course, the other side of it, it's like the money making side. Oh, OK, hey, listen, ESPN is going to be running 24 hour Kobe uh, all-star footage and so on and so forth, celebrating one of the greats and all this other stuff. And Stephen A. Smith is, you know, crying, you know, or like, you know, he, he, he's, he's uncomfortable. He's doing a little interview and talking about his feelings. The coaches, you know, they got cameras in the coach's face that, that coach Kobe or coach with Kobe and so on and so forth, or played with players that played with Kobe against Kobe. They're all up in their face. He, this man died, you know, like, again the some and then just the the horrible things that people say um such as the the woman that i alluded to uh, the horrible things that people say and they just and it's just sometimes a bit too much and i really preach on certain things certain events certain days log off from the internet and if you can log off from the world don't connect yourself with other people. Sometimes staying away from people is very important and is just as important to your mental health mental health as actually communicating and um, communicating and doing things with others and being in groups. Uh, humans, we're that type of creature where um, we usually like to be in groups. We like to talk to each other, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go into work today and you're going to hear a whole bunch of the Kobe talk and all this other stuff. Um, hey, that's sad, so on and so forth. But, you know, of course, the world keeps turning. You know, some people don't care because, hey, listen, I never watched basketball. Or some people care more because, hey, listen, I grew up on Kobe or that was my guy, so on and so forth. I have his jersey, you know. And it's like really sometimes you have to just step back and be like, oh, okay, hey, man, listen, this is sad. And kind of stay within your own box because, a lot of that inf- a lot of that that energy and information comes into you and and you may process it in a bad way uh, me personally I just stay away from a lot of this stuff because you start to see things that are really really effed up like you start to see how people react to certain things like yo listen I don't really care you know LeBron's still great so on and so forth and it's just like you know, all these conversations in my mind really don't matter as much and really aren't about um improving, you know, uh, your situation, your standing in life, so on and so forth. So when I see this, you know, um, in general, uh, as again, like I said, I, in hol- a holiday, even my birthday, I don't celebrate my birthday anymore. I haven't for years because of something that happened years ago um, where I was out, like I, it was really, really bad year. And uh, I was out, I think it was 2010. I was out. I had my mom's car because I didn't have a car at the time. And my mom's car got keyed over just something very stupid. Um, stupid on my part and then just overreaction on the other person's part. And um, you know, I just had to deal with that and pay for that. And because of that, I, um, I, I, I adopted uh, a, a, almost like a hermit-like reaction to these holidays and these days off. You could say it's a, a traumatic event that really changed the way I react to certain things. And one of the things I've learned is okay, today I'm not really going to be with a lot of people. I'll, you know, talk with my family, keep it close, certain people, text messages, so on and so forth, but I'm not going out to Christmas parties and drinking eggnog. I'm not going out to, oh, hey, listen, we having this event for New Year's. Nope, not doing it, not my thing. I'm staying home. Um, if I have to work that night, no problem working that night. Don't worry about me being off. 
Worry about me being off the next week, but don't worry about me being off this week. I'm going to work. Um, hey, we have a day off because of this. No, you got a day off. Mike at work or Mike's at home working on something or working on some sleep. You know, so it's like a lot of these things I just don't really subscribe to anymore because you see the social decay and how just horrible it is. And the fact that the fact that we're just we're so used to this, we're subscribed to it, you know, like the thing that that woman said, I have to find it. But actually, I, I may or may not find it. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I probably won't. But, you know, the thing that that woman said was just like, really? You, you really had to say this at this point in time about a man's death because you didn't get anything from him. And at this point, I, I, just, I had to make a comment. I was like, yo, listen, LOL, the social decay is, uh, is, comedic, uh, is comical at this point. It's, this, this is probably the best joke running, if you want to call it that. It, a lot of these people, just we just don't care about one another. And we don't care about, in a sense, ourselves and the way we look to one another, in a sense, and how we actually are out here perceived in the society, how, 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 we, how, we, how we present ourselves to other people. Like, social media has people saying some crazy stuff, myself included. I've said some crazy things where it's just like, you know, people will be like, hey, listen, man, I'll come to you. And I'll be like, yo, listen, run up, AR-10, load it. That's it. You know, like, but it's like, yo, will you really shoot somebody? Do you want to shoot somebody? If you're in that position, will you actually pull the trigger? I, I, I don't want to kill nobody. I will if I have to. I have to protect my family, so on and so forth, myself. But... Will I put myself in a position to do that? Some of the things that we, we say online, you really have to look at it and be like, yo, listen, do, do you really want to put yourself in that position? Do you want to give out your home address so somebody can come to your home and run up on you? Like, yo, you might not be fast enough. You might not have it on you. You might just be answering the door like it's a FedEx package. You don't think the FedEx guy wants to knock you out or something like that. But guess what? it's possible, you know, like you, you invite, we invite a lot of these things into our lives and it's like, why, for what, what do we really want to do? And it just shows our lack of maturity and our lack of, um, empathy to someone else to be able to sympathize and say, Hey, listen, I probably shouldn't say this today. Let me chill. Let me take a day off and log off. So really this is a mindset video. Yeah. I gotta get back to, I gotta, get out of here but this is a mindset video and just saying hey listen some days you have to log off log off of your life log off of the internet you know uh it, you know stop scrolling through instagram don't look at youtube if you wish um skip certain videos i have i haven't really watched too much coverage on the kobe stuff um even bgs put something uh, he did a little live stream about it stayed away i watched a channel where they restore old bmws and guys ripping apart a whole engine i watched that I watched some videos about uh, investing and things like that, and I just I just logged off. I just logged off in that sense and stayed out of that conversation, you know. So either stay out of certain conversations, log off, and then pretty stay home, you know. Just don't involve yourself into certain things, um, and don't invite certain things into your life. Anyways, uh, as always, thank you for listening. Appreciate you, and uh, you know, time to get to work.